guys, so today I'm sort of starting this new series that I've had as a concept in my mind for quite a while now. I'm going to call it Out of Comfort Zone Makeup. And what it basically is, is I look at new trends or even just simple things and show you how to do them in a simple and more neutral, natural, easy form that still is slightly out of comfort zone and then show a more out there version of it. For example, this video is going to be out of comfort zone um, lipstick in the form of two-tone lips. Now I'm going to show you one option which is nude lips and one which is blue. You can do um, any colours you want. I'll go through my tips and tricks with you as I progress through the video but um, yeah, so that's it and I'll get on with the video. I hope you like this new series. Let me know any suggestions or if you even like the series. I've got a few ideas at the back of my head, but let me know if you've got any. So I'm first starting off with the nude lipstick combination and I'm taking two nudes from the same strain family. That's what you're going to want to do if you want to make this more, more neutral or undetectable. Of course you can do anything with this look, but if you want to make it the most undetectable, you want to choose two nudes of similar family, so similar undertones, and one that's lighter and one that's darker. And you can go as light and as dark as you want, or you can stick close together. I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks in Stripped and Crush. Um, they're both quite cool nudes. This one is, uh, Crush is much more pink and Stripped is much more like kind of a little bit brownie nude. And the way that I'm doing it, you can do half one side and half this side. Um, doing the lighter one on the top lip and the dark one on the bottom lip. Which I find is the most, especially in this case, neutral or like natural sort of look. So first I've prepared my lips with, um, Lucas Pop Ointment. You can use any balm or anything just so your lips stay hydrated like with any matte liquid lipstick and I'm just taking that off. So taking stripped, I'm just going to go over my top lips. You can use a lip liner if you want. Um, an important thing to note, I'm not sure I'll be able to say it with lipstick drying, is that you'll want to keep your mouths further apart. It's not so important with the lighter lipstick because the dark one will just cover it but still a good idea. You're going to want to make sure that the top lip is completely dry before you do the bottom lip. That's just a good thing to keep in mind because if you accidentally press your lips together when one lip is wet I'm going to do my bottom lip and just being extra careful not to press my lips together. So now that both lips are completely dry, your lips are finished. You can clean this up with concealer, but it's late. I don't have time for it. So, um, moving on to the next lip. Um, now moving on to the more adventurous blue lip. You do have to be a lot more careful with this one just because the two colours are so different. Um, well not so different, they're both blue but they're just quite, they're, one's very light, one's very dark, you know. And I'm taking Skyly and Freedom. And these came out on um, 4th of July and they were limited edition so um, some alternatives that I can mention are Who's Zoom and Who by um, Tarte for Freedom or even the, there's a NYX liquid suede lipstick and same for this one. There's actually two um, NYX liquid suede lipsticks that is one's like a dark blue and one's like a light blue. So for this one I'm definitely lining my lips because um, blue is a tricky colour. So now I'm taking the liquid lipstick, which I haven't worn this at all yet, but um, I just love the colour, like. I'm 
now that that has definitely sufficiently dried, I'm going to do the bottom lip with Freedom. So now that my lips are fully dried, I've finished this blue look. Um, I did clean up the edges a little bit because um, it's a lot more noticeable if you mess up with a different colour, like blue or green or anything that's not nude. So yeah, I thought that this was just a little insight into what I want to do next. I kind of want to do more in-depth things. This wasn't too in-depth, I just wanted to kind of do a little short introduction video. But no, I'm thinking to do like eyeliner, glittery liner, do many different liner videos, eyebrows, freckles, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! By the way, I nearly forgot, you may, if you follow me on Instagram, have already seen, I have partnered up with a jewellery brand, mainly necklace brand, called Marina Collections, or Marina Collections. Um, this is one of the necklaces right now. It's the sil the Viola necklace in silver. It's one of their famous necklaces. Um, we've come to offer you a coupon code for their necklaces at 20% off and it, the code is Mirana Girls. I'll leave it in the description bar below but please check it out. Let me know if you like any of the necklaces, this necklace, anything. Okay, <laughs> bye guys.